Now we are joined by Jeff Peck from Peck's Plumbing Plus to talk about bathroom renovations, do's and don'ts. Morning, Jeff. Good morning. Lovely to have you in the studio. Um, first up, what are the different considerations for bathrooms with an old, like a, a, re a new build versus a renovation? Two very different uh, plans of attack. With the new build, you have got a blank canvas, so it does give you the, you the opportunity to put things more to suit your needs rather than being with a renovation where you're a little bit restricted with other things. So also too, the rooms are typically larger in a, in a new build because it does give you the opportunity to make those rooms bigger, once again to sort of fit a few more items in, bigger showers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, different uses. Yeah, the renovation side of things, you're obviously restricted a little bit by, by room size un unless you're going to do an extension or grab some cupboard space from the room next door maybe knock a door, uh, the wall out rather between the existing toilet and, and bathroom. Um, you've got to take into consideration the existing doors, uh, windows, um, and the pipework as well. That's probably the biggest restriction with a lot of things. quite pricey, can't it, too, when you start like, wiggling pipes around? Yes, yeah, you start shifting things around, it can get expensive fast. What are the main differences we see between, say, a main bathroom and an ensuite? Uh, really, it's, a, it's about the, um, the use, so the, the main bathroom um, is a little bit more about functionality um, and the ensuite is more about the, the individual as such, yeah. Um, but it's a, yeah, it can also determine the products you use. Yeah, you know what we did wrong in our, our ensuite? Put two t smaller towel rail in because there's two of us, two adults who want to use proper big towels mm. and we've just got this tiny little thing there, was not thinking things through. Quite often that's the uh, people make the mistake of using the heated towel rails as an afterthought or even the accessories yeah. and stuff like that. Mm. Um, you do see, see that that's a, dare I say it, a rookie mistake, shall we say? It was a rookie mistake <laughs> and I regret it. So what's becoming more popular than in bathroom refits? A bit more about um, luxury and stuff like that. So you've got um, people are wanting more more. Uh, space within the shower, so you go to dual showers or you know multiple uh, rain heads and, and body jets and stuff like that. I had that, that conversation with my husband the other day, <laughs> believe it or not, yeah. Yeah, and uh, toilets as well, extra toilets is, yeah. is a big thing, yeah. I'm looking at redoing a couple of bathrooms actually. What do I need to think about, not only in terms of design and function, that, that kind of I get, but in terms of consent, what's involved? Well, if you're doing a renovation and you're replacing like for like, then there isn't a need for uh, consents. If you start adding things, which toilets are a big push at the moment, particularly with extended families and mm. stuff living in the house, then you need to, when you're adding an item, you need to have uh, a consent or shifting the, the room around completely as well. So if you're taking the shower from one corner, putting it in the other, you sh should get a consent with that. But it also pays to check with your local authorities, your councils and stuff like that, because it does differ. Sometimes in some regions, you may not need a consent uh, in one area versus a consent for another area. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned before my rookie mistake of the stupid sized um, of heater towel rail, which yeah. does annoy me. What are some other mistakes that people make? Um, trying to put too many things into one space. Um, People get caught up, I think, in the moment of, of renovating, and there's huge amount of information and pictures, and you know, on on the internet, and people see all these wonderful bathroom shots, and mm. what a lot they don't realise is some of those, <coughs> excuse me, some of those uh, shots are taken from a European bathroom, which is like six by four metres sure. big yeah. and stuff like that, and they try and put that in a two by two and you a half. You can't get the double shower no. in your bathroom which is this size, <laughs> no, can you? No, <clears throat> And we, we get it all the time, people coming in with a piece of paper and a little drawing and going, right, I want a bath, I want a shower, I want a toilet, I want two vanities or a double bowl sure. vanity and stuff oh, like awesome. that. Oh, awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Jeff. That's been really helpful. No problem. Nice work. And for more from Jeff, head to one of his stores or go to his website. That's pex.co.nz.